The evolution is true. Why do you believe that evolution is true? Because all of the, 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 that's where the evidence points. It's the only explanation that makes any sense in light of, of the evidence. Being, of evolution being true? Yeah. Okay, why, okay so I, this is my question. Why do you think, why do you think we, we evolved? Do you think it's, it's us evolved or do you think it's the machines or the technology that we've made evolve because we're we're separate from our technology we have nothing to do with our technology you can do anything with technology and machines but it's got nothing to do with technology it's just uh, us it's got nothing to do with technology it's us as living organisms we are the modified descendants of uh of other hominids that weren't quite homo sapiens they were something else and they're the descendants of something that was a little bit different and a little bit different and a little bit different all the way back okay so are you us us evolving if we had to evolve do you believe that do you believe that man just killed without will like you know what i'm saying millions of years ago and i mean do you do, do you think that they just just killed each other without any kind of law or anything like that um i mean i guess laws laws are inventions like that's something that we come up with you know prior to a pack of hyenas will kill a lion and it's not because there's a law that says they're allowed they don't have stand your ground laws it's just okay, what they so do this, okay so this is my question if we've evolved why do we still kill each other well because we're very perfect individual we're sorry we're very imperfect individuals i mean what, what, why why would us evolving mean that we don't do that okay because to evolve means you mean you believe in life we, we wouldn't still be doing the same thing millions of years ago if we have evolved right no so i mean like if your point is like if we evolved then how can because humans are terribly flawed and if we're the product of evolution well, then how can we have these flaws? Wouldn't it make us perfect? No, because all of, I mean, by that logic, I could say, why do we die? You know, why don't we just yeah, live forever? I mean, well, we don't have to live forever. In biology, the only thing that matters is if you reproduce, right? If you reproduce and have offspring, you have won the game of life. And so we can afford to have all these other um, unfortunate qualities as long as that is what the end result is like elephants if they live too long their teeth fall out and they can't eat anymore and they starve to death that seems kind of dumb however that doesn't happen until they're very old well past the age of reproduction and so it doesn't really affect their long-term survival it affects the ability of the individual to live forever but it doesn't affect the ability of the species the group the population as a whole to continue producing new individuals and then survive on because evolution you have to think about it in terms of populations not just that's, okay. one individual so that's what i'm that's what i'm saying so if we've evolved and what you just said if if, if i got to think of it as a as evolving all together then that means we haven't evolved because we still murder we still do the same things that we do instead of taking like life as a whole and accountability that means we wouldn't kill each other we we, we will all be evolving we, we would all have the same, like, thought process of looking at life instead of, right. okay, I'll take this man's life because I don't believe, I don't believe he's worth living. Right. So how, how is that? What, what, you're, what you're explaining is basically culture, and natural selection doesn't act on things like that. So, for example, we have the ability to speak, right, because we have vocal cords and all of those things. Now, natural selection can favor individuals who are better able to speak. Or who are better, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even say speak. Natural selection can favor individuals who have the ability to make vocalizations versus people who don't have the ability. But natural selection does not favor individuals with a bigger vocabulary than other individuals necessarily. Because we just invent it. We invent language. It's a construct. It's a cultural thing. So natural selection can't act on it. Now, natural selection can act on like aggressive behaviors and things like that. But this has been tested experimentally with computer simulations, with other groups of animals and things like that. It, it's totally possible for psychopaths to exist. But guess what? They get 
often, more often than not, way more often than not, they get ostracized by the group around them. Nobody wants to be their friend. Nobody wants to have sex with them and produce children. So their psychopathic tendencies that they have a genetic predisposition for never becomes a super common thing in, in the gene pool or whatever. Okay, so... All right, and I'm just taking from this what you just said, uh, uh, not by natural selection uh, and our vocal cords and all that. Okay, uh, why do you say we we created language? Why do you think we created language? Well, because we do. We invent, we invent new words all the time. Okay, or, well, I, I don't mean how. I, was, I mean, why do you think we cre- I'm My bad. How do you think we created language, I mean? I don't know. I mean, like, so... Like, do, you, do, you think we, do you think we were communicating, like, telepathically or how, how did no. we because we had to have some kind of form of, of communication with each other I mean I don't think we created language I think we created different uh, uh, just like uh, okay say I'm, I'm American I speak an American language okay then you have uh, somebody that's Asian and they probably speak something like uh, Mandarin or some shit like that so how, how do you think we created language though well so th- this this is complicated. It's a really, really good question, though. Um, so we know that like other primates communicate. They have a kind of language, but what they don't have is grammar. What they don't have is what we call theory of mind. They're not able to understand that the other monkeys or apes or whatever have their own kind of thoughts and experiences. So like we know like watching chimpanzees, the mother will scratch her back in a certain way and that's her way of telling the baby climb on my back cuz we're going to like climb this tree and you know you're not a very good climber yet, right? So mm-hmm. we have this we have this weird ability to make really sophisticated vocalizations and at first it was just ooga booga and stuff like that, right? But we had this like we have this ability to like look at things and assign value to them and so you know other animals they have specific calls for i can't remember what the animal is it's like some type of baboon or whatever but they have a specific warning call for hawks and they have a different specific warning call for snakes right so we can imagine we had specific vocalizations for objects but then what we started to do was invent like the concept of grammar um, which is like this, this is way beyond me to explain very well, but it, it just would have been something that happened so incredibly slowly that it doesn't like it's not like one group of people just sat down and and like figured it all out. It was so gradual that you don't even see it happening. It just kind of naturally happens. OK, so the, na- the natural selection thing you were just talking about, OK, we still have primates different types of primates and stuff like that so do you think we were naturally selected out of those different primates like how how did that happen like why do we why do we still have monkeys and then why do we have us like how does natural selection work if that happens right so this is like one of the most common things if we evolved from monkeys why are there still monkeys well we know like i mean there are hundreds of different breeds of dogs but we know that like we know that pit bulls don't give birth to dalmatians right and we know that that could we we know that that could never possibly happen but pit bulls and dalmatians going back hundreds of years come from a common line of dogs somewhere in the past so because they coexist doesn't doesn't say anything about the fact that like it doesn't dismiss the idea that one came from that they have common ancestry because what's not true is humans didn't evolve from chimpanzees chimpanzees and us are cousins like a dalmatian is a cousin to a pit bull we have a common ancestor in the very distant past now the only way for two organisms to evolve and speciate to become different species is if they get isolated from each other So because they're isolated from each other, they're not interacting, they don't interfere with each other's ability to survive, and so they can go along their own pathways. It's very, very, very similar to how languages change. We know that Spanish and French are extremely similar, and we know that thousands of years ago, um, neither the language of Spanish 
as we understand it today, nor the language of French as we understand it today was spoken by anybody. There's a group of people that spoke a similar language. And then people moved into the area of France and started speaking a little bit differently. And then one group was like, now we're going to keep going to the Iberian Peninsula. And they lived in Spain. And at first, their languages were extremely similar, but gradually they became more and more and more different as to the point where they, they, they are they both full-fledged so different that, languages. What you're saying, as they got away from each other, their languages started to change? Yeah. Yep, that's just okay. the natural progression of things. And it's the same with species. We have, we have translocated species to different regions, and we see that very quickly. Their anatomy changes in drastic ways. And if we let them sit for many, many, many hundreds of more years, because these things take a long time, we'll see full-fledged uh, different species <clears throat> pop out. Okay, I can agree with that. Uh...